Public Bank's first quarter FY18 net profit rose 12% to 1.4 billion ringgit due to a 4% growth in its net interest income, plus a 15.6% improvement in non-interest income. Revenue rose 6.38% to 5.35 billion ringgit from last year's 5.03 billion ringgit. Chairman Tan Sri Tae Hong Piao says, although competition in the financing and deposit market had remained intense, the group was able to sustain a favourable market position. He adds that he has remained vigilant and focused on maintaining a healthy liquidity position. Going forward, Tay says it will stay agile in the face of fintech and continue to enhance its digital capability. Johor Corp Group says its 51% owned QSR brands is looking at the November IPO. It could have a potential market value of 6 billion ringgit, while proceeds could come in at around the 2 billion ringgit mark. J Corp President and CEO Dato Kamaru Zaman Abu Kasim says it intends to list both the upstream and downstream businesses. The operator of the KFC and Pizza Hut restaurant chains in Malaysia had previously been listed on Busa. It was taken private by J Corp. EPF and UK-based CBC Capital Partners six years ago. IHH Healthcare is continuing its bid for Fortis Healthcare Limited. It has upped its bid for the India-based hospital chain to 175 rupees a share. This is a 9% increase from its earlier offer of 160 rupees per share. IHH say the revised proposal reiterates its seriousness and commitment to investing in 40s. However, Indian businessmen Sunil Munjal and Anand Burman also increased their offer to 18 billion rupees for 40s. 40s has until May 15 to respond to IHH's revised offer. Petronas Chemicals Group is setting aside 4.3 billion ringgit capex for its Pangerang project over the next two years. Chairman Dato MD Arif Mahmoud says its petrochemical projects are on track with 74% completion achieved, while the overall project is 87% done. Petchem has also earmarked 600 million ringgit a year as maintenance capex over the next two years. This is to finance its plant's turnaround activities this year. MD Arif notes that the high number of plants turnaround poses a challenge this year for them to maintain last year's utilisation rate of 91%. He expects demand to remain strong, in line with a 3.9% growth in the global economy. Cashless payment solutions provider Revenue Group has gotten the green light to lease on the ACE market by July this year. The IPO involves the issuance of 55.71 million new shares, or 25% of the enlarged share capital. Managing Director and CEO Eddie Ng Chi Seong says the listing would give the company greater financial flexibility for future growth. The IPO proceeds would mainly be for the purchase of about 9,000 units of new digital electronic data capture terminals and enhancement of its flagship RevPay platform. Revenue Group's customers include banks, non-banking institutions, merchants and e-money payment schemes.